I've been working as a professional photographer for nearly 20 years. And the truth is, the excitement of being a photographer has never worn off. <laughs> Amazing. The most adventurous part of any shoot can generally be just simply getting on location. The rental car has two leaky tires. So finally we stopped at the service station and the rear tire had 16 tiny holes in it. <laughs> These are just production hiccups. No stress yet. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell that it's starting when that warm feeling of excitement and creative adrenaline kicks in. It's also when your eyes really open up and you start to see things with intent. On this particular shoot, I wanted to push this camera as far as I could. And the best way to do this was to approach the imagery with the intent that this camera would deliver at a high level. With this ideology in mind, I wanted to really utilize a professional workflow by doing things like using motion sliders and parallaxing through small passageways, using it on a tripod for long exposures for night photography, bringing in supplemental lighting to create depth and texture, even mounting it to a drone for aerials. This is the first time I've actually tried this. <laughs> Nothing like problem solving in the field. I wanted to use the camera's compact size to my advantage, squeezing it into environments that would otherwise be pretty difficult or impossible to capture. The end goal was for the imagery to reflect the mood and mystery of this unique location and create something otherworldly, or at the very least, mysterious. These are vivid places and being able to capture them in 10-bit it really opens a more genuine feeling of the reality in the imagery. We're talking over one billion colors of information, and that means something. So I've set up this rail time lapse right here, little parallax across the foreground, and as the clouds move by, the pockets of sun move with them. Being a photographer is deeply personal to me. It's a place where I find mental isolation and things quiet down and I can focus. It's also a polarizing place. When the light of the moment is going off, all that relaxation sort of melts away. And I start to feel that heightened sensation that the moment is now. Anytime I get to use a new piece of equipment that opens up potential and new creative possibilities, that's always exciting to me. Working in the Mojave is a place that's really close to my heart. I've spent years upon years of my life exploring this desert. When you see the Mojave from an aerial perspective, you can really feel how expansive this place truly is. It extends for as far as the eye can see in pretty much every direction. The sheer isolation and raw beauty here evokes a feeling like you're on another planet. It's what keeps drawing me back year after year. <laughs>